hello everybody welcome back to my channel my name is Nelly Toshualu it's been a while but let's uh, cook today and see what we're cooking so in today's video we'll make um, mandasi I've done uh, mandasi before it's called puff puff so I've done them before but a lot of people have been asking me again and again how they should make them so for the ingredients I have uh, the water I have yeast so it's quick rice I used uh, uh, the one that is instant yeast I've got sugar almost uh, one cup I've got four cups of flour and I've got salt so I'm going to use uh, vanilla extract as well but this is an option if you want them to smell lemon you can use uh, lemon juice it just uh, squeeze in the fresh lemon juice if you want to use banana you can use banana whatever you want it's all up to you but I'm choosing to use vanilla but this is an option it's not a must because this mandasi is pretty much more tradition like um, I don't have milk to put it's way too traditional so I'm gonna use this bowl I normally use this one because it has um, it has a very tight lid so it works well for me so this is two cups of water that I'm going to pour in there and so I'm going to use a tablespoon so one tablespoon of um, yeast I'm gonna stir that make sure the um, the yeast dissolves and this water was warm in case I didn't mention it so after that I'm going to put one lid of the uh, vanilla essence and I'm going to pour in my sugar so for the sugar it's according to your preference right and for the water sometimes you might add more depending on the flour and the consistency so I'm gonna use one teaspoon of salt and again once you're making them you can test just to make sure that whatever the ingredients you put are making sense and for me to test that I normally just do like that and already I know that the, the salt is a little bit overpowering so I'm gonna add um, a little bit of one tablespoon of sugar so this is the tablespoon and then I'm gonna gradually put in the flour I normally use hands um, when I start uh, kneading it's not necessarily kneading it's just adding flour so you can use hands you can use a wooden spoon it doesn't matter I normally use I normally use my hands this way when I'm using my hands I'm aware of the consistency much more and I'm appreciating the, the door and knowing whether I need to add more water or leave it as it is so this is my door I'm gonna cover it up tightly it and then come back to it when it doubles in size so I'll cover it up like that and this rest we let this rest for an hour so after an hour our dough has doubled in size and that's exactly what i wanted and we'll use this cooking oil to fry them and this is where i'm gonna put my uh, mandasi so after the oil is super hot i'm just gonna wet my hands because that that way i'll be able to scoop uh, the um, dough properly and uh, this is how I'm gonna put the dough in the oil 
so you can do it any other way you know how but this is how i know how because it gives me those uh rounded shape perfect rounded shape um puff puffs so that's how i do it i'm not a pro on this other people are really really pros when it comes to do that putting uh, uh the mandasi in that way but i am not so the mandasi is coming up into shape yeah you fry them until golden brown and this is almost perfect uh i'm just gonna uh, turn them around until i know both sides are golden brown please uh, fry them at low medium uh, high medium heat and the mandasi seems to be ready they are i'm happy with the uh golden brown color and that's pretty much how you will do it so i'm going to repeat the same thing until the whole door is done and this is it this is these are your perfect uh, mandasi uh, please try them they're so easy to make very basic um and this is the inside of it well done um if you can follow the recipe please let me know all right thank you so much for watching i really really appreciate you please remember to subscribe share and comment and put that notification bell on so that you are aware you get notifications whenever i post and I appreciate you. I'll see you in my next one. Bye-bye.